Hi, this is Avilas back here again from Selenium Express and in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about string. Well, actually I'm going to cover one of the very basic FAQ on string, that is what is string and how to represent string in Java, okay? So let's talk about it. Well, so whenever we talk about strings, okay? It's all about names. It, it just whenever I talk about string, it just think about names. Something something like this. Suppose my channel name is uh, Selenium Express. So I'll write Selenium Express. So if if you see this, this is a string in Java. Now you may, you must be wondering that why it is why the string? Why we are calling a string? And what is the string? So the string means you can see a group of characters, the sequence of characters. All right. So if you see over here. This S is a character, E is a character, L is a character, all right? And the sequence of characters is called string in Java and is represented with a double quote, all right? All right, so we can represent a sequence of character or a group of characters by using string in Java, all right? So now let's talk about a few more ways that how we can represent uh, a group of characters, a sequence of characters in Java. So that's what my next question is coming from, okay? How to represent string in Java? Actually, there are four different ways. There are four different ways by using what you can represent strings in Java. And what are those ways? The first one is, the first one is string. The second one is string buffer. The third one is string builder. And the fourth one is array. So we can represent string in Java by using these four different ways. String buffer, string, string builder, and array. All right? But in this tutorial, what I'm going to cover a lot of questions, a lot of FAQs on string. I'm going to talk about only string, okay? I'm only going to take the example of string, right? We can represent string by all this way, but I'm going to talk about this, all right? Okay, uh, so this string is a class in Java, okay? So string is a class. So this class present inside a package, okay, called java.lan. So the string class present inside java.lan package, okay? All right. Okay, so the next thing that we need to understand about string is, you know, uh, you have to understand like this, whenever I want to store a string, all right, let's say I want to store this string, uh, let's say um, Selenium Express, the string that I've written over here. All right, so if I want to represent this string in Java, then how can I do that? How can I create a string offset, right? So I can create a string offset by using two different ways, two different ways. The first way is, the first way is uh, by using new keyword, okay? By using new keyword. And the second way is by using the double quote, all right? So first, let's talk about how to represent this string, Selenium Express in Java by using the new keyword. Then I'm gonna talk about how to represent this string, Selenium Express, by using the double quote. How can we create a string object by using these two way, all right? So let's talk about the first way. That is by using the new keyword, all right? So let's go for it. All right, so now let's first try to represent this string, Selenium Express, in, by using new keyword, okay? So how can we do that? So first thing is I need to create an object means I need to write the class name first. So I told you there is a class called string inside the java.lan package. So I'm going to use that, okay? So string, then I need to give a reference variable. So let's say my reference variable will be s1 equal to, then I'll just remove all this thing. And I'll write new string of, and you have to mention the string that you, that you want to create inside the parenthesis, all right? So I, I want to create a string called Selenium Express. All right, so this is how I can create a string offset by using new keyword in Java, all right? So the next way is by using the double quote. So how can I create a string by using the double quote? 
So to do that, I just need to write something like this string. I want to create a um, object which is S2 and I'll start my double quote over here. As I said, we can represent string in Java by using the double quote. So like this and I'll write Selenium Express. All right. So this is an, another way to create a string in Java. All right. So we have two different ways by using new keyword and by using double quote. All right. So these are the two different ways. And one more thing. Never ever feel that this is a shortcut way to create a string in Java. All right. There is a very, very, very huge differences, you know, by creating an object by using the new keyword and by creating an object by using the double quotes. All right. There are, there are differences and there are a lot of differences. And I'm going to cover all those things in my coming tutorial. So keep on watching. So I'll see you in the next video.